today's video is going to be a special one i'm going to go ahead and show you the entire process of making dal bath and tar kali so without a delay let's go ahead and let's get started every single morning we go ahead and uh, collect some grass that way we can go ahead and uh, feed the goats and the buffaloes as well leeches oh leeches <laughs> no way mm. see so you gotta be really careful here, huh? Yeah. They will start biting me? Yeah. Wow. You too, me, half a half. Wow. Mm -hmm. Look at that balance, man. It's a huge cliff drop underneath her. But not scared, huh? Not scared. <laughs> <laughs> so she has to go ahead and carry that heavy, heavy basket. Probably, I don't know, 20, 30, maybe even 40 kilos full of grass and branches on really slippery grass. And basically just wearing flip flops. I'd love to help out, but honestly, I think I would end up falling. I can barely walk. <laughs> and here we are, home sweet home. And just over here, we have the goats as well. <laughs> Look at this guy, no way to the round now. <laughs> Hello. Oh yeah, these guys are hungry, you can tell. Look at that, no messing around. Straight for that fresh, fresh leaves. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and they go, obviously they tether them as well. That way they don't go crazy. Because they are pretty crazy. I mean, after they eat, what else are they going to do? They, they're they going to want to run around and do anything they want. And I think they eat like a, some sort of mixture of grains and wheats. If you look at that, it's kind of like oats. And just a little bit of warm water and they go ahead and mix it. But I think this Bakra is eating the chicken food, huh? This is for chicken. <laughs> yeah, look, it's for the chicken. But the Bakra somehow escaped and came all the way up here. That's why they need to tether them. Otherwise, they will run havoc everywhere. We made it all the way here to the rice field. And uh, look at this. You can't get more traditional than this, huh? Namaste, Dai. Namaste. Sanchai Hanuncha. You good? <laughs> you making the fresh rice? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and join them. So, uh, look at this. So, they are plowing the ground. As you can see, this one hasn't been done yet. But, uh, yeah, that way they can easily go ahead and make it like a flat ground. And then afterwards, they can go ahead and uh, plant the rice. Namaste, namaste. Sanchai Hanuncha. Sanchai, Sanchai. Working hard over here, huh? Look at this, we have the big oxes on the plow and we got the traditional wooden plow as well. It's very hard work, huh? Yeah, yeah, hard work. Very, very hard work. This one, no need uh, gym. No need for gym. Yeah, <laughs> gym. after this, there's no gym, huh? <laughs> very strong body. Yeah, you're very fit, very fit. <laughs> you also know. <laughs> this is fake muscle, this is real muscle. <laughs> wow. Can I help as well? Can, can. Can, can help. Let me see if I can uh, go ahead and embarrass myself. Obviously, guys, I had to go ahead and take my shoes off. Uh, do you want to try? Yes, please. Yeah, yeah. Let's help okay. out. What's this for? Smacking? Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Uh -huh. You speak? Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Wow, this is hard. No problem. Go, go. Oh, so I guess you, you're meant to press on it a little bit. Yeah. And then steer it. Okay, go, go. You be careful. This is stone, huh? This is stone, huh? Yeah, after I broke this uh, plow. Oh, you break the plow. Okay, so yeah. you have to be careful. Well, be these careful. cows do yeah, not yeah. wait. Go, huh? go, go, go. Don't apply it. You go. Ah, uh, stone. Uh, going stone. Stone. <laughs> ah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> they kind of know what they're doing, huh? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> like that. Wow. Same um boss uh is turning. This is hard. This is hard. <laughs> wow. You know what he say you? Ah. He's talking about the, you know in the bus like in the car handle. Yeah, yeah. No power steering yeah. there. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> there you go, sir. You'll do a much better job than me. What time did they start working today? Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Wow. Ninety-four. Ninety-five. Ninety-six. Ninety-six. Yeah. Wow. A lot of you will complain that you do a nine-to-five job sitting behind a desk. 
Ch come try this for five minutes. This is a lot of work, man. Imagine doing this for eight hours a day. Uh, yes. A lot uh, of work, huh? They, they work with a machine, like machine, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't need a machine, they are on the machine. Yeah, you yeah. keep bees here as well. Mm. This is mad honey or normal honey? Normal honey. Normal honey. Because, you know, in Nepal, three types of the honey. Yeah. One is rock honey, we call honey honey too. And this one, honey honey too, during the evening. You know, rock honey, they pick up during the night, like six to seven o'clock. This is eight to nine o'clock. Drinking? Yeah. Wow. Oh, wow, hello. <laughs> Look at that, something goes in, I guess it has to come out, huh? Yeah. This is the biggest buffalo I've seen here so far. Mm. Look at the horns. This is much, much older, huh? Yeah, maybe uh, 13, 14 years old. 13, 14 years old? Mm. Wow. That is a big buffalo. Do you want to try the little cod? This is? Cod. Cod? Huh. Uh, buffalo cut? Oh, yes. yes, please. I'll try some. A little bit. It's uh, Agda Mito. Mito. Okay. Uh, just a little bit. Ali Ali. Ali Ali. Tore Tore. Ali Ali. Ali Ali. Look at that. Let's give it a try. Oh man. That is good. It's like a little bit naturally salty. Uh, kind of like a taste like a yogurt <clears throat> if you go ahead and mix it with water wow one of the best meals that you'll get over here in the village is dal bat one of my favorite favorite meals here in nepal and i'm humbly joined by uh mommy <laughs> and durga and uh, we're going to go ahead and collect <laughs> some of the ingredients. So we have beans over here. And this one is ginger. Yes, ginger. So there's cucumber also. Oh, cucumber. Small. Oh, that one there, huh? Yeah. Oh, you got to be very careful here, huh? One foot wrong yeah. and uh, <laughs> you're all the way down there. <laughs> it's risky. It's, risky. <laughs> it's risky, but it's worth it, huh? <laughs> so you grow every single ingredient here. You don't need to buy any ingredient. No need to buy. Just oil and salt? Yes. Oil, salt and sometimes tomato also. Tomato as well. It's hard yeah. to grow here? Yes, people grow here but uh, it's seasonal, you know? Seasonal, okay. Seasonal and if it is not, all can't grow here all over somewhere, someone are growing so we can buy from that farm also. So here we go. We have the beans are the first vegetables that we're going to go ahead and cook. Would you like to try? Yes, please. <laughs> I think you will regret asking me. <laughs> then you can separate from the middle one. Oh, easier? Okay. Yeah. And you cut it along the same line? No. For, the opposite? Uh, yes, you can do that one also. Okay. But it depends. All right. So no pressure. Okay. Just, yeah. uh, just dinner is on the line. <laughs> <laughs> no one's going to eat today, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so nice. Oh, nice. Yes. Ramro? Yeah, Ramro. <laughs> you are good learner, fast learner. <laughs> You're very polite. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and do that again. So you pull the, what do you call it? Like the rope or the, the stalk? Or... Yeah. I'm not sure. Leftover of this. This beans. thing, yeah, this thing. <laughs> unnecessary part. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The unnecessary part. <laughs> we don't need to get technical. <laughs> And there you go, you split it right in the middle. And then just go ahead and chop it. Then we remove this part. And something like this. Be careful with knife. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been demoted from the bean cutting <laughs> all the way to the potato. Hopefully I can do a better job with the potatoes. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is simpler. Yeah. And you keep in water to make it easier to peel? It's just I wash it. Ah, oh, for washing? Yeah. Okay. And again, after peeling this... You wash again? Yes. Oh, Potatoes, wow. again I peel this. Leftover, we use it for buffalo. Buffalo to eat? Yes. Okay. We don't waste anything. 
That's good. That's good. You have to be very efficient with everything, right? So you might have seen the bigger one yeah. in your country, but we have this kind of things here. But it is local one, uh -huh. so it is small, small in size, but very tasty. Oh yeah, small package but big yeah. on flavor. But these are organic as well. That's why they slightly smaller because they're real ones, you know. Yeah. The ones we get back in home is fake. It's just grow very fast um, yes. and no flavor. So it gives really very good taste. So yeah. it is not necessary to add more. Yeah. And how yes. do you dry them? Just put them in the sun for like a week or so? How long? Yes, dried in sun. How much time do you have to go? Yeah. Oh. You have to go to For five days. Five days, okay. I think the ladies are being very impressed with my potato peeling abilities, right? Yes. Yeah. So I've been promoted to cutting the potatoes now. <laughs> right, let's see if I can keep this job. <laughs> so if I remember rightly, you go ahead and cut the potato right in the middle. Like this? It's good? Yes, good. Good? Yeah. Ramro? Yeah, Ramro. Ramro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this one also, but very small in size. This is ginger? Yes. Oh, wow. But it's strong in taste, no worries. Oh, it smells very good. Yeah. Ramro. There's a lot more ingredients than I thought. So you have also tomato, tomato ginger, yes. garlic, and beans. Another spices also we are going to add. Uh -huh. What are the main spices used? Is it cumin and ginger cumin, mostly? Cumin and coriander seed. Uh -huh. We grind it ah, on okay. the stone. Okay. And that's the most used in Nepali dishes. Yes. Is always the same base of spices. Uh, it is a type of same spices. You know, we add. So now we're gonna make the masala. Yes. Okay. And what do we have? What seeds do we have? This is coriander seed and cumin. Cumin. Okay. Yes. So uh, I just fried it a little bit, roast. Okay. If we grind, then it. It is easier way. Oh, I see. Okay. More flavor as and well. It gives more flavor. You can smell also. Yeah, yeah. I can definitely smell it. Yeah. It smells good. Yeah. It's like the distinctive dal yeah. smell. So most of we Nepalese love spices, you know, yeah. spicy things. So yeah. chili is okay for us. For you also okay. I like it now. Yeah. Like the Nepali food is not too spicy. Oh. Like uh, sometime I eat in India. Oh, India, it was yes. super spicy. Yeah. But here it's like just a little bit, but it's tasty. No need to go gym. <laughs> this is a new technique that you haven't ah. seen here in Nepal before. But after this video, everyone will try. <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> oh, you're using my technique I showed you, huh? <laughs> you're learning, you learn. <laughs> <laughs> good job, good job. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> ram roll, ram roll. Is it okay? Yes, yeah, perfect. <laughs> it's maybe 7 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> and now we got the wood, right? Yes. And you go make. Oh shit. Oops. Oh, so <laughs> yeah, watch out, guys. When you come here, don't smack your head like that. <laughs> And uh, we're gonna go ahead and make ago. How do you say fire in Nepali? Ago. 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 Oh wow! Look at this. I've never seen this before. So we've got like a little horn to blow some air into the fire, just to really start it up. Wow! I've never seen this before in my life. Oh. That's super cool. Look at that. The fire completely turned on. Wow. How many years have you been cooking? Sorry? How many years you cook? When I was seven years old, I started cooking. Oh, wow. So very early age. Yes. Wow. And you was making dal bath at seven years old? Yes. Wow. <laughs> because in our tradition, yeah. if you have a woman get period, mm. so you are not allowed to go in kitchen. So uh -huh. when my mother got period, she is in period time, so uh -huh. she is not allowed to cook. Oh. So in that case, I have to cook. So oh, I wow. learned by that. 
Wow, so you have to learn very early, so you yes. can always step in at any because time. Because of huh? that, yes. Is it because uh, tradition or religion or which one? Or is it just... Uh, in our Hindu religion. Okay, really? Wow. Yeah. I've never knew this before. That's interesting. So women are not allowed to go in kitchen and chapel. Wow, up really? Up to four days. Four days? Yes. Wow. We are going to put your oil. Uh -huh. And sunflower oil? Sunflower oil. If you cook in mustard oil, then it gives more taste. But more we taste. have your sunflower oil, so yeah. it is good. Yeah. So we got a little bit of onion going in, a little bit of potato. Oh yeah, look at that. Sizzling right away. So I'm gonna go ahead and help out with the cooking. You have a lot of trust in me now. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's dinner is in my hands right now. <laughs> and now the beans? Yeah. Cool. Oh yeah, look at those fresh beans. We literally just picked them like not even 10 minutes ago, washed them, peeled them, and they're literally now in the frying pan. Can't get better than that. Later on, we are going to eat them as well. Oh, eat them as well. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully. <Yeah. laughs> if I don't end up dropping everything on the floor. <laughs> And you just fold it in like this. And here we go. It is finished. And look at this, man. Final look. Looks incredible. You can see everything is kind of wilted down. The beans, the tomatoes. It's gone a bit thicker as well from adding water. And of course the starch from that potato. Wow, looks very good. Sundacha, it sundacha. So good. <laughs> it looks sundacha and it will taste egg dam meat. Now, of course, the main part of any meal here in Nepal is the pot rice. Only you have to know about the measurement of rice. Yeah. That's it. So, what's the measurement? You, you put like a centimeter over the rice or? Like this hour. It is too much. Too much? Yeah. Like a, a thumbnail, this much on top. Yes. And no salt or uh, no, no. oil or nothing. Just water and rice. Just water and rice, and we close the lid. Uh huh. Oh, pressure cooker. Yes. Okay. Use the lid of this pressure cooker and keep on the gas. That's it. Yes, that's why I am oh. saying that <laughs> you can do this. Oh, I, th I think I could do this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will light the gas so you can put it over there. It means that you could do it. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and show you how to cook rice. Even that I couldn't do. <laughs> yeah, that's how you cook rice. <laughs> good job, good job. <laughs> I need you to pull this over. <laughs> yeah. So what are we making now? So we will fry some ingredients which we are going to add with dal. Okay. So, like uh, so, onion? Uh, onion also that is optional. Mm -hmm. Actually we use ghee most of the times mm -hmm. but uh, here is not ghee so mm -hmm. we are adding here oil. Okay. So if we add ghee then it gives more flavor you know. Okay. So, and ghee is animal uh, fat. Yes. From the butter? Yes. Okay. Melt butter. Melt butter. Yes. Have you tried or not? Yeah, I tried before with uh, uh, roti. Oh, okay. It's very good. Ah, oh, nice technique. Where did you learn this one? <laughs> <laughs> From you. <laughs> you did after this. <laughs> Yeah, I stopped after here. <laughs> That's why I am also learning. I think this is fine. It's perfect. <laughs> so, we are going to add this, this and one Ooh, special Secret thing. ingredients, huh? Yes. What is this? It is called Jambu in Nepali. Jambu? Yes, so it is found in Himalayan region. 
Wow, okay. So it is a aromatic leaf of garlic. So which is only found in Himalayan area. So it is like herb, herbal things. If you are, if you have flu, if you have cough, if you are sick, then it. If we make a soup of this, mm -hmm. adding these things, then you will get relief. You know, wow, you okay. will be okay. Stomach pain also it heals. Wow. So it is herbs. So we add these ingredients to dal especially. Oh, that's perfect. So you have the leaf of the garlic and the garlic as well. Yeah, uh, Himalayan garlic, yeah. while aromatic garlic. You can smell. Yeah. Oh wow! It smells exactly the same as garlic. Yeah, but I have crossed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe that's what I was. Yeah, yeah. No, it still smells a little bit like garlic. Yeah. But very, um, not strong, like very light. Yeah. But it is hard. So many horrible things we found in kitchen. You know, yeah. this turmeric powder. So it is. It has many benefits yeah. and uh, of course for that ginger also. Yeah, yeah, exactly. This is like medicine That's now, huh? Yes, medicine. Okay. Namaste, Dai. Namaste, uh, Dai. <laughs> no, but his dance move is so good that he is Dai now. He, he's, 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 been, he's, he's, yeah, he's been upgraded now. Oh, he's he's okay. Dai now. He's my Dai. Congratulations for the <laughs> Promotion, promotion. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> If you are too much spicy lover, then you can add here tomato and chili. Chili as well? Yes. Okay. I think this looks perfect now. Look at this. Nice consistency on it. And this one is to mix all the garlic. So we will add here. Add back in again. Yes. Okay. I guess it's just to kind of deglaze the pan from all those delicious oils. So nothing gets left over in the pan. I like it. You like it, huh? <laughs> Can you give me your review before I eat it? Nice. Egg dumb little? Egg dumb. Very good, yeah. Alright, let me be the judge of it. <laughs> this is an honest review. Honest review, huh? <laughs> so, as you can see, every single thing over here was grown over here. So, the fish was caught just over in the river. The rice is cooked on the fields, the beans, the aloo, and every single other ingredient is picked out from this field, as well as these cucumbers. And if that was not enough, look at this delicious looking dal. Absolutely incredible, full of onions, garlic, and of course that delicious, delicious dal. So I guess let's go ahead and start with the tali tikali. Let's get a little bit of the beans, a little bit of uh, the aloo, and look at that. That looks mighty fine, let's give it a try. Mm, that is good. A little bit spicy, but it's absolutely incredible, man. And here we have the fresh rice to go with it. Mm. Now that is good. And if that was not enough, we we'll go ahead and put the dal all over the bat. Let's go ahead and mix it up and let's give it a real try. Oh my god, that dal is incredible. Mm. I have to be honest, this is the best dal bath and tali tali combination I've ever had. Credit goes to you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah well, it was that technique of the mushing, huh? <laughs> no, honestly, this is incredible. It's the best dal tikali I've ever had. So there you have it, guys. That was genuinely the best dal bath I've had in all of Nepal. And as well as that, we went ahead and had that Nepali tikali. Absolutely delicious food. Let me know what you thought of it and I will see you in the next one. Take care.